That's the light creeping in as the Holy Ghost tries to take my soul. My name is Bella Hadid. Oh, okay. Welcome if you're new here. My name's Susie. It's nice to meet ya. We are finally back with another fitness challenge. I was in the mood to start a new one. So I did a poll on Instagram asking what fitness challenges you guys would like to see next. And one of the top answers was Daisy Keach. In this video, I will be doing Daisy Keach's workouts for 10 days. If you're wondering who Daisy Keach is, I had no idea who she was, but Daisy Keach is a 23 year old lifestyle slash fitness influencer. She uploads weekly workouts on her YouTube channel and across all platforms, she has racked up 17 million followers. Now the workouts I'm going to be completing every day is her hourglass abs workout, 10 minutes and her quarantine bubble butt workout. These workouts got super famous on TikTok. There was a bunch of girls showing their results from trying them out and we're gonna see if I have a bubble butt by the end of it. Fingers crossed. Also this video is kindly sponsored by Gymshark, my fave activewear brand and throughout this video I will be wearing their new sweat collection. I was trying it out throughout the week and I can say it is the most flattering collection yet and super breathable but every time I'm wearing a Gymshark outfit I will put the name of it up on the screen and I will also have all of the links to shop them down below. Make sure if you do shop any of the Gymshark pieces please use my link because it is an affiliate link I do get a small commission from it I would really appreciate it but also it just lets Gymshark know that I sent you and encourages them to keep working with me which I would really love because I love Gymshark now we are gonna get into my before shot I'm gonna put a little disclaimer here because for those of you who don't know me I do not do these challenges to try and change my body to try and get skinny I literally just do them for a bit of fun for some entertainment entertainment for you guys and I am in no way encouraging fat shaming I'm not encouraging you to change your body I think that you are beautiful the way you are I know that I do put the before and afters in the thumbnails and I wish I didn't have to do that but the way the YouTube algorithm works my videos get recommended much more when I do that okay without further ado let's get into it It is the first day of me trying the Daisy Keach workouts. I'm gonna do the 12 3 30 workout as well. If you guys don't know what that is, it's basically where you get on the treadmill, do a 12 incline, three speed, and do 30 minutes of that. I do not own a treadmill. So for the purpose of this video, I got a normal gym membership, like one that has men in it. It is 6.30 now. I have spent the entire day working up the courage to actually go into this gym and I'm out the front now. I guess we're gonna go do this. So both of those Daisy Keach workouts only equal 20 minutes in total. And since my only other form of exercise throughout the day is walking to the kitchen to get a snack, I thought I should probably get at least a little bit of cardio in. I was gripping onto the sides for dear life the entire time, but just as my lungs were about to give out, somehow I finished. Here's me showing off my OOTD in the bathroom. I'm absolutely obsessed with this red set. She's giving main character energy. And now it was time for the Daisy Keach workouts and there were so many gym bros around, I was highly uncomfortable. But I asserted my position as the alpha of the pack and got into the ab workout first. I literally never work out abs and I spent most of the time on the floor, damning my past self for deciding to start this challenge. That's the light creeping in as the Holy Ghost tries to take my soul. Honestly, I would have happily given it to him at this point if it meant I got to stop working out. Yeah. But we still had to do the bubble butt workout. In the beginning, it really didn't seem that hard until it did. The red leggings were very fitting because my ass was on fire. I think I was praying to the Lord to give me the strength at this point to carry on. Some of the workouts, I didn't even know if I was doing it right because I wasn't feeling anything. But after doing it for about 10 seconds, my leg felt like it weighed two tons. <laughs> As I said before, I don't really follow a diet other than the fact that I'm a pescatarian and I'm a gal who loves food. What I eat every day looks super different, but if I'm craving something sweet, I'ma have something sweet. Okay, it's the next day now and Murray's gonna do the Daisy Keach workouts with me. Here is the outfit of the day. 
wearing Gymshark sweat, of course. Little neon green moment. 12, 3.30 was so brutal. I'm not doing it today because I literally just can't be asked, but I'll do it tomorrow. They weren't as hard as I thought they were gonna be, but I definitely did have to take some breaks. My abs and my butt are sore today. So obviously it did do something. Gonna start with the ab workout. You can play some makeup as well. <laughs> oh man, it's already burned, Susie. My abs hurt so bad from yesterday. I feel sick. Oh, the mat keeps making a farting sound. Susie keeps farting. She's doing them so fast. Talk about that. Now. Oh, this is torture. <laughs> Like the angle wasn't working out, so Murray and I had to swap. Ow! Ow. Make a noise. Uh, we did it. Some of the workouts are so strange, like that last one, lifting your leg up into the air. I don't even know if I'm doing that right. Susie. On that note, we're ending this. Murray and I went out for brunch this morning, which you'll soon see becomes a reoccurring theme throughout the video. Ahoy guys, I am at the gym and I am ready to go in and do the 12, 3, 30 and the Daisy Keach workouts. It is day three. It is currently 5.30 p.m. So a little bit later than I wanted to work out. But to be honest, I had some chips and gravy for lunch and I've been waiting for my stomach to settle because I went ham on those chips and gravy and it still hasn't settled. So I think I'm just gonna have to push through it. The 12, 3, 30 is the thing that's really gonna get me. The Daisy Keach workouts are aren't too hard. I'm feeling very excited to work out. I'm feeling a lot less nervous to go in the gym than I was the first day. And yeah, let's go get this workout. So I actually did 12 3 30 for a YouTube challenge two years ago and I thought I was a lot fitter now, but obviously my cardio is not quite up to scratch. One pair of pants later. When I tell you that 30 minutes feels like a lifetime, and just to show you how hard it is, this is me after. <sighs> that 12 3 30 absolutely ripped me a new one. I felt the chips and gravy just sloshing around in my stomach. I literally have this entire workout classroom to myself in the gym. Some guy just opened the door and saw me, and we made the most awkward eye contact, and then he just closed the door and walked away. <laughs> So I guess he wanted to work out in here, but too bad I was here first. Here's the OOTD, feeling really cute. And this set is so good, even if you're dripping in sweat like me, because it's really sweat resistant. And I'm also wearing the matching sports bra underneath. If anybody comes in, they're getting a full view of my butt. Two face killer, <gasps> go gorilla for a bag, uh, that boy be a pussy, kill the vibe, he a drag, uh, autobiography gon' look like a bra brag, huh? let's get to the money, I'm on PT Duddy. I'm done. My legs are numb. Welcome to another day of Hi guys, it's day four of the Daisy Cage workouts. My abs are still feeling very sore, but I'm feeling good. I'm actually really excited to work out. Something that's really helped me with 12, 3, 30 is just distracting myself. So I saw that Ava Jules has come out with a new video and I've been waiting to watch it until I do my 12, 3, 30 so I can have something to keep me distracted from the pain. <laughs> Scooby Doo Be Doo, where are you? The gym bro started multiplying rapidly, so I decided to abort ship. Whatever you're eating right now, probably shouldn't go in your face hole. I'm wearing the teal sweat set. This is what it looks like. I think this is my favorite color out of all of them. I feel so good in this color. And yes, you can still see the sweat, but to be honest, I sweat liters. But sweat is normal. Do not be embarrassed to sweat at the gym. If it looks like you peed yourself, then it just means you were working hard. And I bet the other people at the gym wish that they sweat that much. So even though these workouts aren't the hardest I've ever tried, I do still have to take lots of breaks. More so in the ab workout, in the butt workout, I'm pretty good thanks to my massive thicky. I'm a weight training girly and I was surprised how working out with no equipment could still burn like a butt cheek on a stick. Workout's done for today. It's really not like a cardio thing, it just burns. 
slap. But I'm hoping by day seven, I'll be able to do the whole workout without taking a break. That's my goal. Good morning, guys. I have a confession to make. It is Wednesday today, so that means I didn't work out yesterday. And that is because I had a massive migraine that just like absolutely romped me. For breakfast this morning, I've been so trash at showing what I eat this week. I'm just gonna have pesto eggs with a bit of toast. And also my iced latte, of course. <laughs> I feel very French when I have a side of berries with my breakfast. I'm at the gym, just sipping on my pre-workout from my Gymshark shaker bottle. I really am a Gymshark poster girl. Mm, dang it. Okay, I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna go in. Okay, I'm going in. I'd also like to add that I'm having major period poos today, but I'm staying strong. I've got period undies strapped in, ready to go. It keeps saying user not detected on belt. Is that because I'm so skinny? My name is Bella Hadid. I haven't even done 10 minutes, and this is not going as quickly as it did yesterday. I broke the treadmill. Not me checking myself out in the mirror because I am looking so good in this maroon set. Period undie check. Gym session done and dusted. Not gonna lie, that was a hard one, guys. I was really struggling to get through that. My back hurts really bad for some reason. I think it might have something to do with my period. And boy, I haven't been stretching properly, so I am so sore and I was cramping up that entire time. So I just had a really good stretch, so hopefully it feels a bit better tomorrow. Oh, yeah. But happy to get it done and I am very hungry now, so maybe I'll get a rice paper roll. I love rice paper rolls so much, and I haven't had them in ages. Mmm, so good. Here is breakfast this morning. Breakfast bun with egg and a potato, oh no, a lentil and potato rosti. Mmm, delicious. For lunch, I had this very healthy poke bowl. A bit too healthy for my liking. Hi guys, so a little bit of a change of scenery. I am currently in the Gold Coast, but I still need to get my workout done. And where I'm staying, the hotel has a little hotel gym. So I'm gonna go down, do the 12, 3.30. This is a working holiday, babe. And by that, I mean a workout holiday. The hotel should have advertised this as a sauna and gym in one because it was so hot, I was dripping with sweat the entire time. The poor girl next to me was avoiding eye contact because old sweaty Susie here was flooding the floor. That was hands down the most I've sweated this entire time. But now I need to do the Daisy Cage workout, which I'm I'm struggling, guys. Okay, let's do the get Daisy. I can't even speak. It was like 8 p.m. at this point and I hadn't eaten since two because there were so many new Uber Eats choices I couldn't decide what to get. So I thought I'd just work out before eating and that was my downfall. <laughs> the only thing that kept me going through this workout was the thought of the fish and chips I was gonna <sighs> order and devour after. I don't often feel sorry for myself, but I feel pity for Susie in these videos. She was really going through it. We're done. <laughs> I've learned today, don't work out on an empty stomach. 12 30 time, baby. Day seven, woohoo. Murray's here with me. I'm at 23 minutes 30. Oh, look how sweaty I am. I dropped my towel. Murray, could you please get my sweat towel? I'm feeling very happy I got that done, especially because I took a break yesterday because at the Naked Harvest event, we did a Pilates workout and I was so dead and sore after that workout. I didn't have it in me to do the 12, 3, 30 in the Daisy Peach. 
I was going to go and do the Daisy Keach workouts right now, but I am starving and Murray and I want to get out of the house. So we're going to go and get something to eat and I'm probably going to do the Daisy Keach workouts in the afternoon when I get back. Putting it off to the end of the day, as I always do, but that's okay. I will do them, I promise. So Murray and I on holiday together means one thing and one thing only, and that's eating out for every single meal. Honestly, I was having the time of my life though. And holidays are the time for treating yourself. You deserve to enjoy your food, queens. Hello guys, Murray and I are back from our very exciting day. It's time to do the Daisy Keach workout. Left it till about 9.30 p.m. So I really didn't feel like doing it, but luckily Murray offered to do it with me. I'm about to beat this bitch up. Did you do 15? No, I can't. You did not do 15. Hey, it's going to be. You did not just say that. You did it. It is 10 p.m., but it's never too late to get that pump. Good morning, guys. It is day eight of doing the workouts. Now I was only originally gonna do this for seven days, but since I've taken a couple breaks in between, I thought I would do it for 10. And also I think it's giving me a good reason to actually work out on holiday because if I wasn't doing this, I would probably not be working out at all. Now Murray and I are gonna get the workouts done. I'm not gonna do the 12, 3, 30 this morning because we're gonna be I feel sick. It's <laughs> bullshit. Ugh. Oh, me too. Not a competition, Susie. Oh. Can't wait to eat something at a cafe. I'm not okay. I'm doing these with my feet on the ground because Get they hurt Susie. my back. Get that burn going. No, they hurt my back. Someone tell me, please, in the comments, why these hurt my back so bad. You're not using your abs. I am using my abs. You might be done at them. I am getting a bit sick of doing the same workout every single day though. I can still feel it though. Yeah, I can still feel it. My right butt cheek always hurts more than my left. Woohoo, half half. Murray and I of course treated ourselves to a little brunch date again, and we had these delicious waffles in a cone for dessert. Let's go! I'm actually wearing the Gymshark and Whitney Simmons collection here because all of my sweat outfits were dirty, but also obsessed with this collection and they have a bunch of different colors on the website. <laughs> you just look so big and lanky. You in the backyard of your old farm in the summer. It is day 10, the final day of doing the Daisy Keach workouts. And I am glad because I'm getting so sick of doing the same workouts every time. Murray and I just went to the movies and ate a bunch of popcorn and Skittles and pods. Are you ready? Ready. Come on, give me a bit more oomph. Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Since it was my last workout, it was showtime, baby. And I was not gonna take any breaks at all. <sighs> <laughs> okay, maybe I took a couple breaks, but now it was time for the real test, the Russian twists. Well, you can do it. I'll go to the end of the Okay. Oh, I actually only took three breaks during the Russian twist, where usually I would take about ten. So a win's a win. Ab workout done. Let's get this booty. Murray, does my butt look bigger? Good answer. And during the butt workout, I didn't take any breaks at all, except for that final workout that I couldn't figure out in the beginning. But I actually managed to start doing it properly. Here's me just killing it, dogs out and everything. Five, four, four three, three, two, two one. one. <sighs> we did it, guys. Daisy Keach workouts for 10 days, done. Feeling very proud of myself for getting that done. And good job to Murray as well for sticking with me for the last few days. Woo!
and the moment you've all been waiting for. Drum roll, please. This is my after. Here is me also relaxed and I still have my little belly, but that's okay because she's cute. Here's my butt update. I can't really tell a difference to be honest. I do just want to say, so that after was actually filmed a few days after I finished this challenge because I completely forgot to film an after right after I finished the workouts. 10 out of 10 YouTubing from me, but I would still say that that's basically what I looked like after I finished the challenges anyway. I don't think my body changed that much, but I do think that probably most of the change in my body was from the 12, 3, 30, rather than the Daisy Keach ab workouts and the bubble butt. Cause honestly, the 12, 3, 30 absolutely kicked my ass. Now for my final thoughts on the Daisy Keach workouts. On a hardness scale, I would say the ab workouts were definitely way harder than the butt workouts. I think I did really progress well throughout the week. Like I never was able to finish the workouts without a break. That is the truth. But I did manage to get way better at doing them and found it a lot easier by the end of the 10 days. But one thing I'll say is my God, did I get bored with these workouts? And I don't recommend doing the same workout every single day. You are of course gonna get bored of it. But that was just what I was doing for this challenge. It was an experiment. I also don't find her the most relatable. I'm being like, I'm going in on Daisy right now, but I'm really not trying to, I'm just being honest. I just don't love the working out with a full face of makeup and not breaking a sweat the entire time thing. I think it's unrealistic. I think it can make people feel bad about themselves when they're really struggling with the workouts. So I hope watching this video made you realize that that is not the reality of doing the workouts. They are not as easy as she makes them look. I did however like how quick they were and I did think that I definitely felt a burn and I felt my abs getting much stronger by the end of the 10 days. Like I was punching my stomach at the end of the 10 days and I was like, damn rock hard you know there's a layer of fat there but underneath i've got an eight pack but i will say i think they're a good beginner workout to start out with and i like that you don't have to use any equipment to do them i think they're fun to do every once in a while but i definitely would not do them as my only form of working out if you guys love her workouts then that is great for you everyone's going to have a different preference with exercise and the most important thing is that you're doing something that you really enjoy but you know what? I had a really fun time trying out one of these new workout programs. I am so excited to be getting into the workout programs again. I forgot how much I enjoy filming them and I have a bunch more coming. So keep your eye out for that. If you are not subscribed, please do and join our family of all shapes and sizes. You are welcome here. Also, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And also if you're watching to this point, comment a peach emoji. Okay guys, thank Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Mwah! Bye guys. Also follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you haven't already at Susie J Todd. Shameless plug. What was that? <laughs>